seriously, I didn't sleep too much, but when I woke up, my first thought was, did that really happen? It's crazy. Seriously, did that really happen? <laughs> and just to qualify myself, I worked for a summer in college in Chicago, went to a whole lot of games at Wrigley Field. As I've mentioned before on the show, I was a columnist at the Chicago Tribune for three years, during which my company, Tribune Company, owned the Chicago Cubs, and I covered a whole lot of Cubs games, including the playoffs in 1998, featuring Sammy Sosa and Kerry Wood. And yet, all through those years of studying the Chicago Cubs, I never, ever really believed I would witness what I witnessed, I think I witnessed, last night. But from day one on this show, I kept telling you, September 6th on, there was just something different about this Cubs team. Just from a distance, I'm watching it on TV, and I'm starting to sense authentic guts, true backbone, and, and a belief in itself, as cliched as this sounds, that transcended all the curses of the Billy Goats and the Black Cats and the Bartmans. This team had something special going on where you could just see it believed in its meant to be destiny. And I just believe, I've been telling you that, I've used this phrase 10 times on the show, it feels meant to be. Yet, what happened last night? This Cub team had, what, a dozen chances last night to give in to, oh, woe were we Cubs history? Mm and choke, as you pointed out, and crumble and collapse, at least a dozen chances, because this team last night made three errors in a game seven. Usually you make three, probably not gonna get away with it, right? You take the ale. Yeah. yeah this much. team let in two runs on one wild pitch. That'll get you beat in game seven, right? Yep. This team had a manager whose name is Joe Madden, who turned into Joe Madman last night in multiple instances, Obviously, I think we're all going to agree on this. He took Kyle Hendricks out too soon. He threw John Lester into the wrong place at the wrong time. And I'm saying, what? Lester into that situation with two outs and a situation he'd never been in before? I think we would agree he went to a role as Chapman too soon and obviously used him too long the night before after they broke the game open 7-2. to two, And then he sent him back out for the ninth because he admitted before the game last night, I messed it up. I should have had somebody up and ready to go. So there's another screw up. And finally, Joe Madman tries a squeeze bunt, a safety squeeze, on a three and two pitch to Javi Baez, who's swinging kind of a high, he jacked one out before. I'm gonna let him swing in that situation. Right. And I, I'm thinking, what are you trying to prove? Are you trying to outcute them or are you just trying to win the game? Mm -hmm. And yet, despite all that, these Cubs kept canceling out curse after curse after curse with rally after rally after incredibly resilient rally. They got to Corey Kluber, who knew? They, they got to Andrew Miller, who knew? They got to the Indians' bullpen and scored two more runs in the top of the tent. Who, who knew? And then finally, and so fittingly in the end, Mike Martinez hits a slow roller toward third base and in charges Chris Bryant, picks the ball cleanly, plants the throw, and his feet go out from under him. I don't know if we have that play, could, could we see it? But his feet go out from under him. This is gonna be the closing play of the game. And in the past, the oh, whoa, are we Cubs? Trust me, that ball winds up in the third row yep. because that's what happens to the Chicago Cubs. And if the ball does go in the third row, they end up losing that game nine to eight. But instead, somehow, Cubs fans weren't able to blame Mother Nature saying, oh, you're against us too because it had been raining. And they'd obviously had a rain delay. Somehow, Chris Bryant managed with his feet going straight out from under him to throw a strike to first base and Cubs win. 108 years of, of misery ended by a play that looked like it was going to be a typical Cubs collapse play. And in the end, this is by far the most resilient Cubs team in Cubs history. And it took that to overcome Joe Madman and three errors and all the blunders we talked about and to overcome a really good, really game Cleveland Indians team. And I congratulate this Chicago Cubs team.